Hello everyone and welcome to the next lecture video in theory of computation. In this lecture video we will see one practical real world application of DFA that is vending machine. Here we're gonna design a basic mathematical model of vending machine which can be later on implemented by using some programming languages and can be fed into hardware devices so that that hardware device work as a vending machine. So let's get started. A vending machine is an automatic machine that gives snacks, beverages, etc. after inserting some money or credit card into it. These type of automatic vending machines are very popular in today's world. Here we are going to design a basic mathematical model of this vending machine so that that basic model can be programmed by using some programming language to make the software for this hardware device. So let's start with some specification of our machines. Here we design a simple automatic vending machine. So assumption number first, our machine receives a coins of 1, 2 and 5. Second assumption, our machine gives some snacks after the total amount of money is equal to or greater than 5. For the simplicity, our third assumption is the machine does not return money in case of higher amount of money is inserted into the system. You can make the machine which returns the money in case of higher amount of money is inserted into the system, but the model of this type of system is little bit complex. For simplicity, we are just designing a simple type of vending machine. Here, these three points are the assumption of our machines. <clears throat> now we will design the mathematical model of this vending machine, that is the DFA for this vending machine, on the basis of these three assumptions. Here, the machine only receives the coins of 1, 2 and 5. Therefore, this is the alphabet of our required DFA. And also the machine gives snacks after the total amount of money is equal to or greater than 5 and it does not return any money in case of higher money is inserted into the system. Therefore, the language of the required DFA is the set of all strings whose individual input symbol summation is greater than or equal to 5. That is, the DFA for this vending machine is a DFA that accepts set of all strings whose individual input symbol summation is greater or equals to 5, where the input symbol, that is alphabet, equals to 1, 2 and 5. For example, the DFA should accept the string 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Since the total summation of each individual symbol in this string is 5. Similarly, it should also accept the string 1, 2, 1, 2. Since the total summation of each individual input symbol in this case is 6. Similarly, it should also accept the string 2, 2, 2, 2. Similarly, 5. Similarly, 5, 1. Similarly, 1, 5 and so on. Remember that our machine does not return any money in case of higher amount is inserted into the system. That means the machine does not return the coin of 1 in this case. Similarly, does not return amount 3 in this case. Now let's start to build the DFA for this vending machine. Here one simple option is to insert the coin of 1 5 times that is 1 1 1 1 and 1 to get the snacks from this vending machine. So we first build a basic mathematical model for this string and grow that model to accept other strings too. So initially the machine is in the state Q0. This Q0 states indicates that the machine yet not receive any coin. Therefore, the total amount of money it receives is equals to zero. 
Now, receiving the first coin of 1 in Q0 state leads to the next state Q1. This Q1 indicates that the total amount of money it receives is equals to 1. Similarly, receiving the second coin of 1 in Q1 state leads to the state Q2. And this Q2 states indicates the total amount of money equals to 2. Similarly, receiving the next coin of 1 in Q2 state leads to the state Q3. And this Q3 state indicates the total amount of money equals to 3. Similarly, the next coin of 1 leads to the state Q4. And this Q4 indicates the total amount of money equals to 4. Now, receiving the fifth number coin of 1 in Q4 state leads to the state Q5. And this Q5 state indicates the total amount of money is equals to 5 till now. Since this string is accepted by this DFA, therefore, we double circle this Q5 state. And no matter how many number of 1 comes after this 1 should be accepted, therefore, we make this transition on the input symbol 1 in Q5 state. Therefore, this Q5 indicates the total amount of money is 5 or greater than 5. As we are going to design the DFA for this vending machine, so we have to define every transitions on each input symbols from each states. So, receiving the input coin of 2 in Q0 states means the total amount of money that the system receives is equals to 2. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q2 after receiving the coin of 2 in Q0 state. Similarly, reading the coin of 2 in Q1 states means the total amount of money equals to 3. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q3 in receiving the coin of 2 in Q1 state. Similarly, reading the coin of Q2 means the total amount of money the system receives is equals to 4. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q4. Similarly, reading the coin of 2 in Q3 state means the total amount of money that the system receives is equals to 5. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5. Similarly, receiving the coin of 2 in Q4 state means the total amount of money is equals to 6, which is greater than 5. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5 in receiving the coin of 2 in Q4 state. Now, receiving any number of coins of 2 in Q5 state indicates that the total amount of money is greater than 5. Therefore, we make this transition on receiving the input coin 2 in Q5 state. Similarly, for the input coin 5, whenever the machine reads the input coin of 5 in Q0 states that indicates the total amount of money is equals to 5. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5 in receiving the coin of 5 from Q0 state. Similarly, receiving the coin of 5 in Q1 means the total amount of money is equals to 6. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5 on receiving the input coin 5. Similarly, receiving the coin of 5 in Q2 makes the total amount of money greater than 5. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5 on receiving the input coin 5 in Q2 state. Similarly, receiving the coin of 5 in Q3 state makes the total amount equals to 8, which is greater than 5. Therefore, we switch it to the state Q5. Finally, receiving any number of coins of 5 in Q5 state makes the total amount of money greater than 5. Therefore, we make this transition on receiving the input coin 5 in Q5 state. 
So this is the DFA for our assumed vending machine. Here, whenever someone presses the button for requesting the snacks and the machine is in the state Q5, it simply gives the snacks and in case of states other than Q5, it simply displays a message of insufficient money. And let's see what happens when someone inserted the coin of 2, 1, 2 and presses the button for snacks. Here, reading the input 2 in Q0 state leads to the state Q2 and reading the next input 1 in Q1 state leads to the state Q3 then reading the final input that is coin of 2 in Q3 state leads to the state Q5 now pressing the button in Q5 states it simply gives the snacks now what if the someone inserted another coin of let's say 1 after these coins in that case reading 1 in Q5 states remains in same Q5 state and pressing the button after this one simply gives the snacks but the extra amount is not returned by our system. Similarly what happens when someone inserted the coin of 1, 1 and 2. In that case initially the vending machine is in the state Q0 reading this coin leads to the state Q1 and reading next coin of 1 leads to the state Q2. Now reading the coin of 2 in Q2 states leads to the state Q4. Now if someone presses the button in Q4 state then it simply displays the message of insufficient money. That's all in this lecture video. If you have any queries then please leave the comment and thank you for watching this video.